So, doing a little bit of a, of a interesting situation, considering that it may, for some of you guys, it may be that it's like super toxic for some of you guys out there, um, or you guys may be feeling um, trapped in your situation, and there may be some, uh, um, the reason why I say this is because of the devil that's underneath, the, you know, that's under the deck here, um, and for a lot of you guys, there could be that there's there's some codependent issues coming up. Maybe you're taking care of things and you're not really getting a lot back. Um, you know, there's some things that, there's definitely some things that's happening. Let's, let's go ahead and get started with this anyway. The Five of Cups is was in your past. So there was something that was potentially lost. But I feel like you guys have shifted your focus, right? Because you can't get out of this energy without you shifting your focus. Now, you know, there could have something might have, might have went down. Something may not have, you know, been up to par with some things. But... I do see that you do have the, you know, you do, you do have the two cups behind you. You did shift your focus, and that's the great thing. This is a, this is a period of death. When death comes up, this is about transition. Um, you know, shifting from one phase to the next, or changing, um, or leasing something to get to, an, um, to get um, rid of some things that are not really working for you. And this is really difficult energy, and especially long as well. And it was something to do with internal uh, matters. So, like, it could be your emotions. It could be, um, you know, yeah, matters of the heart. This is a very emotional card anyway. So, it's something that may have been lost. It was something that you may have to, you may have had to uh, release to be able to move on, move forward. Um, to be able to have that, have the room that you have now to be able to manifest and build something that is, you know, definitely a lot stronger and can be potentially last, you know, I guess last longer, but I don't want to say last longer, but I really want to say that will show more potential than what potentially is, you know, what happened in the past to that, whatever you may have lost in that. For some of you guys who may have broken up with someone. Um, here, uh, the external energy is the past. So you could be dealing with a soulmate, you could be dealing with somebody that's um, an ex, this thing that you're releasing potentially could be that of, of you know past old issues, old situations. But this could be you know this is happy memories. This is not the three of swords, but this is talking about old pains. This is happy memories. This is things of the past. So maybe there was some idea. You know, there was a relationship here, or some sort of connection that you had with someone that was just perfect. That it just it's so innocent, and it was just you know I don't know. It's your first love. It's something about the six of cups that really. There's no, it's nothing, you can't ever get something like that. And I feel like it was releasing that thought or this, this pattern or this thinking that there wasn't anything that more from the situation that, you know, you went through. Um, when, you know, love is reoccurring. It doesn't stop. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm kind of getting here. You shifted your focus. You look back, you know, you turned your, your back to, you know, spilled milk and you've looked towards the future, you look towards love, you focused on love, and you could have potentially, you know, again, the reason why I'm not 100% solid on the breakup is because you have the two of cups. Two cups is two people working together, coming together. So, you know, this is, this is, this is still involving someone else. This is so, there's something here that maybe there may have been a loss of support. Um, something may have been gone. But, you know, and I can't get specific with it because this is a general reading, but there's still a relationship here in the past. Now, when we move on, right, considering what was going on, whatever the situation, whatever bad situation has happened here, it's definitely shifted to now five of pentacles. Now, you're looking at what's lacking, so that way you can potentially fix it, right? So, the five of pentacles is about, you know, endurance, going through a, a difficult situation. Um, this is, this is really a struggle because you may feel left out in the cold or, you know, this one, your partner may feel left out in the cold. Um, there may, there may be a lack of emotional support. There may be a lack of communication. There's something that's lacking between you and this person. And it is effort that's required to really put what's necessary into the relationship to re-establish balance. Put you in a place where you know, both of you guys, or the, even this relationship, in a place where you guys can both feel like you're getting something out of it. Right now, you feel like you're being gypped. You kind of feel like there's nothing that you're getting out of this situation, I feel. But 
there's always a solution. You have this, you know, the church there that's always like a, a signal, a beacon of help, a beacon of light. If you ever felt like you can't handle it, right, there's always someone you can go to. Uh, there's always somewhere you can, uh, you know, seek assistance. Um, but the Five of Pentacles, though, yeah, it's just like, you know, you feel left out in the cold here. But at the same time, this is your relationship. This is something that you are willing to work on. They're, you're not stopping here. Look at that. Like, in the cards, right? They're not stopping for nobody. Even the dude with the crutches. He's like, I, I may be beaten up, bruised up, and exhausted, but I'm going towards what I believe is the best place for me. Okay? So, that's why I feel like I feel like there is determination. Not just feeling left on the cold. I mean, I think it's very clear and it's very st well established that whatever's lost in the past, you don't have that anymore. But, I do get this feeling that you guys are really determined to make... You know, to, to you know, to make the hap you know, to get the happiness that you're looking for, to be happy. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the internal energy here. You have the Ace of Wands. So this is a new beginning, a fresh start. Okay. Now this is also rekindling of a relationship. For some of you guys, you guys could have gotten back together with the ex, um, or you guys, you know, or you guys are restarting something with the person that you are currently with, right? Back to the five of cups. There's two cups there, so there could have been a relationship here. Maybe you guys broke up for a period of time, but you guys got back together and because you realized that just because there was a problem doesn't mean that the relationship has to crumble because of it. So yeah, it's releasing, forgiving, making space for things to work out. Now, it's, I feel like it's that time. It's, this, it's one of these times. It's a very rebirth situation. Um, and I feel like... Because yeah, honestly, if you... I mean, quickly look back at the past. This could be a serious rebirth situation. Now, I'm just releasing of some things, of some old situation from the past. But you feel renewal because you've shifted your focus, right? You, you feel like there is a potential for new love. There's ways to be able to, you know, reconnect. Maybe not as like the past but you can definitely reconnect with somebody that you've had a connection with before so rekindling the past rekindling the relationship okay starting something new starting something that's filled with passion um and i feel like externally right you're taking control right you're taking control you're making it absolutely hardcore like look this is what i need we better find out what we need to do to make it work because I'm not about to, you know, deal with nobody that's not going to really value me. And I feel like that's great, Pisces. The Five of Pentacles is like, yes, it's determination, I feel. It's determination. You're, you're determined to get out of that snow, to wear some shoes, to be able to be clothed and warm and, and fed. And, you just, you know, you feel left out in the cold in this relationship, so you're like, I'm not taking it. So the Emperor, I feel like it's you guys leading the way. Getting outside of, you know, get, get, you know, going out and um, finding what you need to be feel, fulfilled in this relationship. Now, for some of you guys, you guys could be dealing with somebody that's very stubborn as well. You're rekindling in a relationship. This person has very stuck ways. They're very stubborn. And I feel like that, that could be happening for some of you guys out there. Um, and you're having to deal with what's lacking because they're incapable of being open-minded changing they're not they have their own ways of doing stuff but at the same time it's leaving you feeling very alone very you know very vulnerable um and not a care in the world you know so you can kind of feel like it's like it's almost like it feels like this person doesn't care but i feel like they do because they wouldn't be in the relationship if they didn't they just have a very weird way of you know expressing their love and that's what needs to possibly be corrected, right? It's like, okay, you can express your love, right? But I know this is what I need to know. This is what I need in the relationship to feel good, okay? To feel good with it. You know what I mean? So that's, you know, it could be that situation there. Now, this is where it gets good, right? Because with the perseverance that you're taking here, it really starts to build up, starts to take some, you know, you know really start moving. Um, and... You have the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody could be coming in with an offer, or you, you know, the person that you are with could be, you know, showing more seriousness, you know, being feeling more solid. But you guys could also be taking t you're taking your time and looking at the details and really studying the situation, really taking your time. For some of you guys, you guys could be deal dealing with a Virgo, which is your opposite sign. But you're being very realistic about your relationship. You're being realistic here. 
feel like it's because your heart got broken. It's like you can't you can't afford to be, you know, you know, be you know, dreamy as you as you are known to be, right? Very romantic, very, um, you know, very imaginative, and and, and I don't know something about it. It's like it's 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 not it's like tapping into that subconscious that romance that fantasy it's beautiful right it, you guys have a very artistic way of expressing your love and you can't even do that because this person doesn't know how to you know provide the stability that you're looking for in a relationship so that makes sense why you having to be more staring that's why it makes sense why you have to be more you know you know to be you know to take control of the situation and for some of you guys for some of you guys out there this may be that you you aren't taking control of the situation because there isn't there isn't structure there isn't something that's stable so that would leave you to be like to think well what do you need to do to be able to get to where you want to be to be more comfortable in your relationship maybe you could be stubborn about how things are going and it's keeping you from being able to um to express love or to gain love or to you know to be able to get out of a situation where you're on a, in a constant st struggle i know but for me i really feel like that this is you guys taking control of your situation because the relationship is 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 lacking something that's important it's a necessity for you which is why in the future you have the knight of pentacles you're taking things slow you're taking a step back you're looking at things but you're still making progress the knight of knights always make progress even if it's slow and i feel like this person this slow progress building you're taking your time you're really working hard um, and really making, you know, strides to build habits that can really benefit you guys and maintain a relationship for a, quite a long time. And at the same time, I feel like this, you know, the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the thing here is, is that when he commits to something, he, he's committed, which why it takes him so long to just, you know, to, to commit in the first place. That's why it's a process. So there may be some slowness in regards to committing, right? Because you're going, you've gone through a situation where you're patching up some holes in the foundation and now, you know, there's not really, you know, there's not really room to breathe. So I feel like this may, this may be a buffer, right? To really see how things are and see how things roll. Really working on those things that, you know, you may have found in your journey to be able to um, implement in the relationship that can really help. Now, for those of you that don't have anybody in your life, right, this could be that, you know, the situation in the past, you broke up with, your, with somebody, but you still have the potential to find love. There's still the two of cups. Like, there's still somebody out there willing to connect with you. And it's, it's a vulnerable situation where you have to put yourself out there and meet new people and things like that. But it's a new, it's exciting, it's new. And you get to pick who you want. You get to control who the person is that comes into your life and you yes it may feel left out in the cold however you can pick and choose who your partner is that really fits the fits the best description for you that doesn't make you feel like you're isolated or by yourself in the relationship because that could suck all together right so back to, so so for this right you guys can be taking it slow really looking at things and then um, I feel like there is somebody currently here at this time. You could meet somebody, but there is work that needs to be done. But in the future, this shows that work, yeah, it's a work in progress um, towards commitment potentially. Um, so you have to kind of stand your ground, stand by your, you know, stand by what you believe in, stand for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, stand up for yourself at all times because the love and the the the, the protection that you give yourself, treat you know protecting your home which is you your heart your soul your mind your body paying attention and making sure you're protecting that and standing up for it at all times can bring you the person that really really vibes with you that really you know that really loves you for you because you love you you know what i'm saying so there's a lot of, you know there's there's some good things coming your way it's about taking control of the situation currently though okay let me go ahead and pull you guys your romance angels for the week Wow, keep an open mind. Your soulmates may differ from your usual um, usual type and expectations. Wow. Yeah, I agree with that. For those of you that are not dating, or that are dating, excuse me, 
that's definitely a red flag, guys. That's a, that's a red flag for the reading saying, hey, you can pick whoever you want. You don't have to settle for anybody. And if you want to... And if you want to, um... You know, pick the person that you want to pick, you can pick it. Um, honestly. But don't feel like you have to pick with something familiar. You know, keep an open mind about it, but always have your boundaries, you know, have your boundaries, of course. Um, also, if this is for people that are in relationships currently, this could talk about, this is really talking about being open-minded about their needs, being open-minded about what they want, you know. Building a, you know, a stable structure requires, you know, a balance of two, right? It's compromising, etc., working things out. And for some of you guys, this you could also talk about keeping an open mind in regards to, you know, you know, in regards to taking control of the situation, right? Because there may be ways that this person has, you know, express love that's natural to them. You want to be careful, you know, not to, you know, you know, demand a certain way of how they show you love because that may not be authentic to them. 